Welcome to SunnyDayStamping.com. I'm Julie Baca and I am so glad that you're here. This gift card holder is so fun to make, so quick and easy. So I'm excited to uh, just break it down into easy to follow steps. Now, after you watch the video, there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you over to a corresponding blog post and over there you'll be able to find all the measurements for the card. I want you to make this at home so I give you all the measurements. You'll also find a list of supplies there and you can purchase supplies right from there if you want your cards to look just like mine. Otherwise, just use what you have at home. So let's get started. <music> This card is interesting for two reasons. One, it's a slimline orientation. So it's different than other cards, but then on the inside, check out how that gift card holder pops up and just makes it so festive. So you can use this design with practically any stamp set, but I am using the Sending Cheer, which is so perfect for the holidays, but it's also a set that's gonna extend into just regular gift giving. Love the classic holiday things, but then it also has this gift that you can use all year round for birthday gift card holders. So I love that. Um, it's got a coordinating die set that cuts out all these images and then has these awesome tags that I've used in other projects. Um, so I'm only using part of what this bundle can do in this project today. So I am going to use Christmassy colors. Um, so I'm going to use these three, uh, pecan pie, garden green, and real red. But then I'm um, going to add in early espresso for the um, face of the gingerbread man, but you could use black. And then I just felt like I needed one other color, so I, I added in some blue. So still really low on supplies. One thing I do want to add, if you are interested in the stamp and the die set together, buy them as a bundle and you'll save 10% on that. So the example that we're gonna make together, we're just gonna do simple stamping on the front of the card and cut out something for the front and the inside. Um, but I have some other examples to show you where I did more die cutting just to give you some other ideas on how you can make this really simple or you can step it up to the next level with some more die cutting. So to make this card, you're gonna need a couple pieces of white, a couple pieces of red or whatever layer you're gonna use. Um, a pretty much a full one for the gift card base and then a piece of scrap for your die cutting. So really low on supplies. So we're gonna start by doing our stamping first. And in the example that we're gonna make together, we're gonna to use this adorable gingerbread man. <laughs> I think he is so cute. And you're gonna stamp directly in the middle of your piece of paper. And then you're going to add gingerbread men. This one um, is gonna be straight on, right? And then the rest of these, you want them to hold hands just a little bit and kind of angle them a little bit just to give them a little bit of interest and we'll angle this one. This way we'll have him be down a little bit because you just don't want them all the same way. And then I do want these to go off the paper. So grab a piece of scrap paper and because um, we're going to stamp off the paper like that. Now I'm stamping on top of this stamp and pierce mat. I find that I get a much better impression um, with my photopolymer stamps just because this has a little, it's got some give to it. And I love that. Okay, so now that was in pecan pie and check this out. It's got this little face, which we have to add this. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna use early espresso, which is just a really dark brown. Um, and we'll just put this on here like that. And then look, the hearts you can leave open or they've got hearts, which it's so cute. So we gotta add those in and we're just gonna fill them in. I'm gonna try to get right over my camera, which I failed. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh, I keep making the same mistake. Let's see. So you'll do better than me. So that's it. That's the front of our card, super quick. But we want to put one of these gingerbread men on the inside of our card and we're gonna cut him out. So we'll stamp on this um, little scrap paper so that we can um, cut it out with our die cut. If you don't have the die set, you can cut this out by hand. So we'll set this aside and cut him out in a minute, but we're gonna do the inside of our card. So now for the inside of your card, you can just use any of the elements in that set to do that, but we're gonna use this gingerbread on the inside also. 
And then you can pick a greeting from this stamp set or if you have another Christmas stamp set or whatever you want to say inside, you know, you could put a Merry Christmas on the inside. But just to keep supplies low, I'm just going to use this stamp set and I'm going to use this sending cheer. So I'm going to grab that. And the way to line up um, your stamps on your stamp block is to line them up on your grid paper, line the words up on your grid paper and then line up the block on the grid paper lines and then you know that it is nice and straight and then you can always double check yourself to see if you've got it straight. Yeah, baby. All right, so let's go back to finishing up the inside of this card. Oh no, I don't, I don't want that to be green. All right, I want it to be red. So I'm gonna put some red down here. So cute. And then it's got these holly leaves. So I just wanna do a little, oh yeah. Wait, let's see, where should we put them? Yeah, like that, so cute. So now we're just gonna cut out that gingerbread man for the inside of our um, card and then pick one of the labels out of the stamp set. I'm gonna pick this circle one and that will go on the front. Now I like to line everything up and then hold it down in place while I put this through the machine and so that in hopes that it stays lined up. <laughs> and see how that cuts that out so perfectly. Now, you can see that this has a little tag topper on top, which we are gonna cut off, but I did want to show you this uh, bundle comes with um, regular tags, but then like the um, stocking has a little like ribbon on it and then this, so you can make like a garland of little things or you can make tags for your presents. I love this thing. Even this um, little, um, Santa hat. Hold on, let me show you. The Santa hat cuts out and it has a little hole in it as a tag and it's got this little white um, that goes across here. Wait, this this one and then a little puff ball. I mean, look how cute those gift tags are. There are also a ton of little cute elements I'm not going to use in this um, card, but you can really fancy this up if you like having a lot of pieces on your cards. So then we're just gonna stamp a little something on this little uh, tag for the front of our card and put a little ribbon through that hole. Now on the supply list, I put this ribbon combo pack cause it's like absolutely perfect for Christmas. Real red and garden green, you get both of them. And then you can just mix and match them for all kinds of projects throughout the year or just for Christmas. So just take a little length of ribbon, fold it in half and then thread it through the hole of your tag. Now, when you're stamping your tag, you're gonna wanna be cognizant of which way do you want this ribbon to go because um, you'll want to stamp your words in the right, <laughs> the right direction. So then you're gonna kinda open up a loop um, from your ribbon and put the tails through the backs through there and then just pull until it's, ah! Oh! I cannot tell you how many times I've done that today. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, you smush up the folded end of your ribbon to push it through there. I don't know if I said that the first time. Um, and then you're gonna gently, gently pull these tails through, being so, so patient, <laughs> which is what I'm not, which is why I did that a couple times today. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna separate this out a little bit and then just cut the, um, the tails of this just at an angle, just so they look pretty. There we go. Now we've got all the elements done for our card and I'm gonna show you how to make the gift card holder. So grab your paper trimmer and take a regular piece of cardstock. Don't cut it, just leave it in landscape position and cut it at six and a quarter and that is the size that you need. That's all you need to cut on this. A couple notes, six and a quarter is right in the seam of this thing, which I was making the mistake of it. I couldn't see very well. So I kept measuring it wrong. So I took my Sharpie and I just went in that indentation there and it made that little hash mark of six and a quarter darker and now I can see it every time. <laughs> so now you're gonna take your paper and you're gonna rotate it and you're gonna score it at, and I have my print and make project sheet. Oh, this is for my email subscribers. I've got all these measurements on my website, sunnydaystamping.com, but my email subscribers will get this in my Friday morning email. Um, if it's past the time that I've, uh, of this video, um, and you'd like the project sheet, just let me know if you're on my email list. If you're not on my list, there's a link in the description for you to get on my list. One little tip, 
I, I did this today because <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I'm crafting, there is stuff everywhere and I can't find anything. So I decided I'm going to put my project sheet in a page protector. So one, I don't throw it out. And two, it just made it easier to find because it was a different texture than all the other papers going on on my desk. Okay. So we are going to score it at three and a quarter. And you can just do this in your um, paper trimmer or you can get out your scoreboard. We're going to make three score lines, three and a quarter, four and a quarter, five and a quarter. Now it's going to be really important to, to burnish these score lines really well. Now, because um, the papers I'm using for these cards are the dark papers, the, um, if I were to um, use my bone folder on there. You're not going to see any marring, but if I really press, which is what I have to do for this gift card holder, really press it down, it would leave a, a mark. So I cover it with a piece of scrap paper so I can push as hard as I want and it's not going to make that shiny mark on my paper. I don't know if you've ever noticed that happening. So, okay, so you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold it back along this score line and burnish this. And I find it easier to, once I've burnished it a little bit, now make it flat and go do it again. Then we're gonna open this up and we're gonna fold this score line in. So now you've got, this is what it kinda looks like. Kinda like a little bit of a W happen in there. So now I'm gonna use a circle punch to make a little thumb notch. You may have a thumb notch, thumb notch punch, but I'm gonna use this two inch one. These are um, actually, um, they've got these in stock for at Stampin' Up! right now. So I, you can either eyeball where the center of your card is or you can mark it. I like to mark it. So, and halfway through is gonna be three and an eighth. And so now when I go to um, put it in my circle punch, I can see where that center line is and just, you know, kind of eyeball where the middle is. Wow, that thing went flying. And that is going to be the center notch of where our gift card is going to go. You can stop right here if you want. Um, or, but I am going to go ahead and round the corners. Boy, I got paper stuck in here. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners of these two edges. And I do that just by putting the corner of my paper in the, in the um, circle punch. Oh, I had paper stuck in there. That's why I was having such a hard time. And that just kind of rounds the corners. You may have a paper rounder that you could use more easily. So now you're going to take your card and open it all the way up and use a silicone craft sheet or, um, or just some paper just to protect your work surface so you don't get glue everywhere. And you're just gonna put it along this line here and up that corner. That is it. Um, make sure you are on this side of the score line. And then all you do is fold it in half and press it and wait for it to um, make sure it's nice and adhered. And this is why I'm on my silicone craft sheet. You can see that it, it the glue came out a little bit. That would have made a sticky mess everywhere. And so I'm just going to rub that on there. Now the sticky mess is on that silicone craft sheet and it will dry there. All right. This is where the magic happens because you can see there is no place to put your gift card right now. Now check this out. So you're going to fold it so that the thumb notch is towards this cutting trough and you're just going to put it in there just a skosh because we just want to trim off that fold line and then you're going to run it through your paper trimmer. I found I needed to go up and back to cut it and you can see it's going to cut off just the tiniest little bit but what's so cool is now we have a pocket. You can see that this is going to open up and that's where you can put in your gift card. Here, let me show you. So you can just slide it in between those two pieces of paper. They're held in place because we glued along here and we glued along the sides and it's going to stand up like that. There, can you believe how easy that was? I mean, such an easy thing to make. And now we're just going to layer all of our stamping onto, oh my goodness, Julie, calm down. There we go. I'm always in such a rush. And yes, I'm like this in person, not just on camera. <laughs> I'm like, people call me the Energizer Bunny, and yep, that is true. So, okay, now I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet because the way this um, layer goes on is they, they bump up right along the edge, and I don't want glue squishing out 
if it's going to squish, I want it to be on here. There we go. Look how patient I'm being. I'm doing so good. Okay, now this is going to fit directly on the front. And I found the easiest way to attach this is actually to open the card all the way up. That way it's going to lay flat because it's got this on the inside, which makes it thick along the top. So go ahead and open it up, turn it over and lay it flat when you attach the front of your card here. There we go, and then put this one on the inside, just like that. And now you can take your little gingerbread man, um, you can leave the little tag on top, which actually is pretty cute, but I am going to trim it off. Just take your paper snips and just go along the side of the head like that till it's round and really very simple cutting. Now you're only gonna wanna put glue down by his feet because you don't want glue sticking everywhere and you just need him to stick up just a little bit on the side of that gift card holder like that, do you see? And then you can slide in the gift card like that and I love how it overlaps on him so cute now the front is a little plain so that's why I'm like wait we need to put something on a stamp of dimensional so we're just gonna take our tag put one little dimensional there flip it over and then just kind of decide hmm where should it go and put it there like that so super cute and then and then and then and then to make it super cute you can make your own mini slimline envelope for this to go into look how cute that would be getting that out of the mailbox with those gingerbread on there so cute i'm gonna do a different video on how to make this these are super fast but i didn't want to make this video any longer because i've got some examples to show you if you don't feel like making your envelopes before i show you all these examples you these will just fit in a regular three points six inch by six and a half inch envelope um, so these will fit directly in there if you don't want to actually make your own <laughs> okay so now if you want to do extra cutting you can cut out those gingerbread man uh, I would not do that by hand myself, but um, use the die cuts and then pop them up with dimensionals. Do you see how that makes a little shadow? And then the same thing on the inside there. So you can see kind of the difference. This is more simple and this takes a little more time because you have to cut those out. So here was our simple stockings from the beginning of the video. And this is what it looks like cut out. And here's the inside. And the last one I made was using the gifts. I'd love to know if you give this gift card holder a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You know, I put a new video out every Thursday, so I'm excited to see you next week. You can subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get notified um, when that comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.